So since we are done creating our forms, it's time to create to-dos that we can add to the database. So to do that, follow what I do first, and then I'll explain what it means. So first of all, you're going to go into your app.route and then type in method is equal to a list and then get and post. This is just going to let the server know that we're going to be accepting get and post requests. Then you want to type this in right here. So if form.validate on submit, we're going to create a new to-do object. And once that object has been created, we're going to add that new to-do to the database and then save those changes. So what this basically means is that the if statement right here, form.validate on submit, verifies whether or not our form has been submitted. So if the form is validated and submitted, then it will create a new to-do object, which is this variable right here. And then it will add that object into the database right here. And then it will save those changes with dot commit. And basically we're done adding them to the database. So to show you guys what this will look like, let me show you right here. So I'm going to run our server, python3 app.py. And actually it says, oh, methods right here. Instead of putting method, you're going to put methods. And then python3 app.py. So once our server is running, we can check right here. And then we can type in new to do and add that to do. So this to do has been added. And um, to verify that, we can just open up. Well, we can stop the server first, and then we're just going to check into our database. So SQLite 3 database.db, and then select all from to do. And right here, as you can see, we have created a new to do, and its um, value is new to do, which is what we entered. And uh, it has one right there, which is the ID of it. So next, I'm going to create another to do just to show you guys again. So I'm going to open up another ter terminal right here, and I'm going to type in Python 3 app.py. And right here, once we're running it again, I'm going to say new to do two. And once I add it again, I can rerun this. And it says new to do two with the uh, ID of the to do right there. So we've basically added our to do's into the database and our to do um, and our to do's is basically working perfectly fine. We're just going to have to show these to do's in this page right here and then find a way to delete them. So I'll show you guys how to do that in the following videos. So hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to render these to-dos on the screen. So if I have my server running and I'm at my uh, URL. So in order to render these to-dos, I'm going to have to first query these to-dos. And to do that, I'm just going to create a variable called to-dos is equal to to-do.query.all. So it's going to so this right here is going to access our to do database table and then query all of the to do's that are in this table. Next, I'm going to add this variable into here. So to do's is equal to to do's, meaning that we've created this to do's variable in our HTML template, which will allow us to render onto the screen. So to render onto the screen, we can just use a for loop in the Jinja uh, syntax. So we're going to do percentage for to do in to do's and then right here I'm going to put end for so in python you would have a for something in something and then do something in here you have the same thing so for to do in to do we're going to render one right here and then once we run a for loop we're going to have to end it so that's just letting the template know to where to end the for loop so next to render it um, we're going to do a paragraph tag and then um, to do right there so this is going to um, access this to do right here and then if we refresh the page right here you could see to do one and to do two now these are the IDs for it so to actually access the to do we're going to do to do dot to do and then this way you could see new to do and new to do two now the reason on why I have to put to do dot to do is, is pretty simple so right here in to do's this will return a list of the to-dos in our database table. And for each to-do in to-do, if we, if we were to just um, render out just to-do, it will just render the ID of the to-do. So in order to actually render the um, to-do that we entered in, we're going to have to put this to-do right here, which is the string. So I'm just going to put to-do dot to-do. And then as you can see, it's rendered here. And then if I um, make one called, let's say, submit assignment and add it and then refresh the page you guys can see that I have a submit assignment to do 
and also I want I'm going to show you guys how to use the redirect so as you can see when I say new to do three and add it it doesn't refresh the screen and nor does it show it right here so to automatically refresh the page um, we can just do under our db.session.commit we can just type in return redirect redirect and then URL for our home page right here so if I type in new to do three it'll show it right there and then let's say new to do four and it automatically adds it right there so for this clip that's all it um, I just showed you guys how to render these to do's and also how to redirect hey guys in this video I'll show you how to complete our to do's so first of all I'm going to start our server 3app.py right here and then just uh, locate to that link and as you can see we have our app running so next um, I'm going to create a function for us to be able to complete our to-dos so we're gonna have to have a route and we're gonna go into complete slash complete to do and then int to do ID and I'll explain what this means in a bit So right here, this line basically means that we will go to this route and then an ID of our to-do that we want to complete and the methods that we'll be accepting are get and post. Next, I'm going to write down the function, so complete underscore to-do. And then right here, I'm going to say to-do is, well, we're going to have to pass in to-do underscore ID right here and then to-do dot query dot get or 404 and then to do ID right there and then db.session dot delete to do and then db.session dot complete or commit and then return redirect to the home page so I'll just put that right here return redirect URL for home so um, our, I'm going to run the server again and let me explain what this means so Right here, we're gonna to go to this route. When we go to this this route, we're gonna to have to enter in a to-do ID. So I'm gonna show you guys the database in order to give a better example. So SQLite 3 database.db and then select all from to-do. And right here, as you can see, these to-dos have these IDs. And these IDs are going to be in this um, field right here. And we're going to be accepting integers, so we can pass this on to the function. And then this to-do variable, what it's going to do is query from the um, database right here and then look for this to-do ID. If it exists, then we're going to get it. If it doesn't, then we're going to return a 404. And if it exists, then we're going to delete it because we're completing it. And then we're going to save the changes and then redirect to the home route. So for example, I'm going to show you guys one thing. I'm going to delete new to do for so I'm going to go to uh, complete to do and then the new to do for ID is six so I'll just do that and then right here as you can see that to do is deleted now the delete function is working perfectly but we need to be able to show this in our uh, HTML file so that we can delete it with a button so let me show so we're going to go into home.html and then right underneath the to do, we're going to do it, um, a URL for to that function. So URL for, and then complete to do, or right here. And then to do ID is equal to to do dot ID. And then right here, I'm going to say complete to do. So if you refresh the page, you can see this. Um, actually, I'm going to do this right here. So the ER so that these look a little bit more organized um, so as you can see for this to do if we click complete it's going to be deleted if we click complete it's going to be deleted it's going to it's going to be deleted again so what this basically means is that whenever we click on this complete to do uh, link it's going to call this function in our python file and then this to do underscore id is equal to to do dot id is basically um, setting this variable to be equal to the to do id which is these so that's pretty much our app if you want to see it right here let's um do new to do one add it and it's right there let's click complete it's going to be gone so our app is basically working perfectly fine 
and here's how we did it. So if you, so I'm just going to recap on what we just did. So we have a route that goes that um, basically completes the to do, right? And we're going to have to have a to do ID to exactly know which to do that we are completing. And we're going to we're going to pass that to do ID into this function, and then we're going to query that to do ID if it exists. We're going to get it and. Uh, delete it from the database. If it doesn't, then we're going to return a 404. And then once we delete the to do after it's completed, then we're going to re return redirect to the home page, which is this one right here. And in our home.html file, what we just did was call this function and then um, fill out the uh, definition for this variable, basically, which is the to do.id, which is this to do's ID right here. So that's pretty much it for our app. I hope you guys learned something from this, and uh, stay tuned for newer videos. Thanks for watching.